They call us deplorable. Deplorable. They shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people, making music for the people. They shine bright everywhere we go. They call us violators of the Constitution and the rule of law. They shine bright everywhere we go. Here is our answer on the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. Public Affairs Thursday, guys. Hey! <clears throat> We're not covering any news, but to do- today the topic is media effects on news. You're probably thinking, why did you choose this topic? Well, I think it's about time to analyze the mainstream media. And also, well, to be honest with you, media also on both parties. It's it's different narratives, different uh, perspectives. But unfortunately, it, it, to me, it just seems this way. It's the same recycled story. Now, I'm not covering any news, but I'm going to show you this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to count some of the ones that have already been covered to the ground that I think people are sick of hearing about. Um... Well, maybe this magazine may not be Okay, well, maybe not, maybe not this one. Actually, New American may not be a good <coughs> fit for this. Let me find some other uh, conservative ones. Newsmax, for instance. You know, we got the we got the Russian thing, um, which is all over the place. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong; it's it's good to be informed, but I gotta be honest with you. Uh, I don't know. Just just seems like a. But there are still some people that are willing to talk about COVID. But not maybe not so much in the conservative news because they know people are sick and tired of hearing it. Mm -hmm. But say you go on YouTube. You go on YouTube. uh, um, You go on YouTube and I saw an ad. See, I'm not just talking about media effects on news, even though sometimes the news creates advertisements for certain products, you know. And, and this advertiser is using the be scared mentality. And I'm kind of like, come on. People have heard enough about that stuff. Now, if, 
is, and I guess that's why I read more news articles than I do watch the news. Because watch the news, I'm just being as bluntly honest with you as I can. Um, you watch the news, they just give you a little bit, a little bit enough, enough to get you pissed off. And you don't need that. Uh, now, there are some rare exceptions. CBN News, which is a Christian news network, that believes in praying about it, you know, searching for the proactive Christian solutions to certain problems. Um, and that's why I'm being selective about what media that I present. Because that's just reality's reality. Now that we have this 24 news cycle and, and, and at least dozens of news network, networks, everybody's competing for networks. For Everybody's competing for ratings. And ratings periods, you ever notice the same stories get repeated. COVID, COVID, Jan 6, Jan 6. And this is crap that's happening uh, one and a half to two years ago. Now, some stories like Hunter Biden's laptop, that might be a little bit more intriguing. You know, it's kind of like a mystery to me. But dead stuff that people have decided not to live in fear anymore, you want to think that's going to help you in your ratings? I don't think so. And so, I think come November, some of these wokeisms, and even both parties, are going to be surprised at how people get informed. Because back when I was in college, I didn't watch the news so much. What I did is, you know, at first I went on BBSs, and I um, plucked down certain articles to, for me to, to read, and then, you know, there we go. Because, you see, my show is more solution-oriented. Whereas a lot of shows, especially since the death of Rush Limbaugh, have become problem-oriented. And so, you see, I believe there's still hope for the American dream. There's still hope for the American dream. You don't need to mess around with that, you know, in many ways. My mama didn't raise no fool. She's, you know, she's always told me, with God, there's always hope. And so that, that's why tomorrow we're going to have a Fearless Faith Friday. It's called Bring God Back in America Again. I want you to stay close and tune to that because it's, it's going to bless your life. With that, I hope you enjoy listening to the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership Classroom. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time, take care and be proactive in your form. Tomorrow, if you go to Faith Friday, you're going to be in for a treat. Get ready. You guys take care. And God bless each and every one of you. Y'all go out there and have a blessed day. And come home and, and, and hug your loved ones tight, okay? Love their necks, okay? God bless you.